Hello everyone, welcome to Mind School of Fine Arts. We are here to learn about wet blending and dry blending. I take the huge amount of cotton. Then I take the red color. Uh, I apply it on the first half of the cell. I slowly apply the color. Uh, it Then I take the pink color and apply it on the second half of the cell. Uh, you can see that first one is a dark color. Then I choose that just a light color. I take the little amount of the cotton. I roll it and make it, it as a very sharp one. I blending on that surface. It will uh, making merge uh, merging the two colors. It will not give the perfect finishing. Uh, I blending again. It look like same. So um, what I do? Uh, I have to um, add more color. Like uh, I apply the pink again over the red also. Then I take the cotton. Uh, I blending the color again. I try to blend the corn, uh, corners of the cell because the corners, uh, the fi complete finishing of the co color blending, it will give the perfect one. Uh, you can see that it's a, it will become perfect one. Okay, this is called uh, dry blending. Then we are moving to learn about um, wet blending with cotton. I take the dark green, apply it on the first half of the cell. Ah, I complete the first half. Uh, I nearly complete. Ah, I completed. I then I take the uh, light color, light green. Okay, nearly completed. Yeah, I'm nearly completed. Uh, then I'm taking the cotton and I rolled it and mm, I rolled it. I completely rolled it. I tip it on the uh, in the oil. Uh, you can see that I tip it on the oil. It's a not a costly oil. It's a normal or uh, coconut oil. It's a it is enough to enough for our drawing. I blending on on that colored surface uh, it will give the uh, cute perfection you can see that I will uh, correct the corners so of the paper thank you